Hi, I'm Suresh. I represent Joy International Theatre. Uh, so we are a theatre company with an international creative collective, which formerly is a theatre, but we basically do storytelling in all its forms. Visual, theatre, on stage, off stage, and so on and so forth. So we decided, because we had nothing to do and because we were ambitious for change, that we would do a festival, a very condensed festival of theatre, visual arts, and some niche ways of storytelling, like poetry film, which not many people have seen, which is why we decided to do this. Um, as well as an exhibition on four journalists happening at other venues in the city, um, like Prisma, and so on. So when we first thought of this poetry film thing, and this was because um, my, my colleagues from JAW, Dan Kotral and Tanya Kumeda, who know Kiara Christopher Lee, a poet who's in the audience here, by the by, very well, were introduced to this notion of poetry film. It was just a bunch of people making movies based on poetry. I mean, like I said, it was like MTV. So. I wasn't particularly impressed by the concept. But then I saw more of it and I said, well, I don't understand the concept, so therefore I decided we would basically do something about it. It's the best way to get it. So we decided to have a competition, a film freeway competition, to invite poetry filmmakers to figure out what they wanted to submit. That's the only way to understand it. But to do that, I thought we would want to have a venue to do this, and because I've always been excited by disquiet, because I had a feeling that disquiet is a general emotion when you organize a festival. Um, it was one of the dominant, it was one of the two themes of the poetry film submissions, the other one being separation and belonging, which is so broad you can do anything with it. Uh, the result was we got 80, about 80 submissions from all over the world, and in both sections, basically. And so then I thought maybe I should, because disquiet doesn't evolve, I thought I should approach Clara and say hello. And she said yes, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and she said yes, very, it was very easy, I have to say. I, I, I thought I had to make a like, very hard pitch to try to figure out what was going on. Which she said, oh yes, poetry film, I know all about it. In fact, let me tell you three people who have done poetry film festivals. I was like, oh, I see, okay, I don't have to convince anybody here. Um, so I'm delighted to be here um, representing John. Uh, what you're about to see is one set of selections of the Poetry Film Festival. Uh, these selections have been curated by Tanya Kumeda, and this is one of three selections. We had one selection screening at Kosul, and we are having another one here, and we'll have a third selection screening along with the prize giving ceremony for the competition on Saturday at Kosul. The jury members, by the by, two of whom are here in the audience are Janet Lees, um, You'll see, the, you'll see them later on after the screening. Um, eminent filmmaker who's flown all, here all the way from the UK. And uh, Petro, who is a short filmmaker. So they've been spending, as well as Paolo Tavares, who is a, who is a Portuguese poet. So they've been headbanging around for a couple of weeks trying to figure out from the selections, winners and so on. I have a feeling they have come to a conclusion. So these screenings are a very eclectic mix of films based on poetry. They have rhythms that are slightly alien to what you would expect from a short film. And uh, I wish you happy viewing. After the viewing, it's, I think it's about one hour long, and maybe there's an interval of five minutes for you to take a deep breath before you plunge into the next one. And after that, uh, we will have a conversation with the two jury members. Paolo couldn't be here, but Pedro and Janet are here. And we will ask them, what is poetry film, what is it all about, and why do people do it in the first place?